How's it going guys? So today in this tutorial, we're going to be making a really cool looping EV animation. You can see this is only 30 frames. It loops seamlessly. And also when we hit render here, we're going to be getting some really cool compositing stuff to make it really pop. Just a heads up, this project file is available for you to download in the description for a dollar. Everybody on Patreon, you'll be getting that for free. If you don't know about the Patreon, you can go check it out. Tons of project files, exclusive tutorials, things like that. You can go check it out in the description. So let's get into the tutorial. All right, so we're gonna clear everything out of our scene, hit Shift A, and we're gonna be adding some text. So go over here, add text just like this. And what I always like to do is take right here in the alignment section and just center him out. And I'm gonna hit R, and I'm gonna hit R, X90, just flip him up just like that. Doesn't really matter that much. So I'm gonna go, if you hit Tab and you backspace, you can write whatever you want. So, so I'm gonna type in Blend in all caps. I'm a big fan of all caps, so I like to do that. All right, so now what we, what we want to do is right up here where it says fill mode in the uh, text section, go to uh, none. So we get these nice outlines. And then here on a geometry, just click depth once and you get this nice outline. So I'm going to hit the tilde key right over here, go to front, shift A, and I'm going to go ahead and add my camera. I keep doing that. The UI here, camera and speaker look too similar to me. Uh, so we're going to go to camera, control alt zero and snaps it to view. And if you hold down G, and you hit G and middle click, you can zoom right out. So now we have this as our text. So let's go into the nodes and uh, make that shader. Hop on over to uh, Eevee here, enable bloom. That's all we're really gonna need here. And in the world settings, bring your color all the way to black and we'll go to rendered view. So now we have this. Now, if you don't like this yellow outline when you have it selected, it kind of gets in the way. Just click this icon right here just to delete the overlays. We're gonna click a new material, delete the principled and add in an emission. Plug that right there to the surface, and now we have this emission. You can do it up just like that. We're gonna leave it there for now. Is we're gonna add in a wave texture. And this will be what really drives those um, sort of light trail looking things. So we're gonna plug that into the color here. And so now we get this. We're gonna change from sign to saw, so we get these really cool um, fade gradient sections here. Now we need to, if you have the Node Wrangler enabled, go to the wave texture and just hit Control T. And then I'm gonna just drag this guy over so delete the mapping we'll just keep the texture coordinate now we need to use the actually the uv coordinate even though we haven't unwrapped anything it's going to be fine now we need to separate some of this stuff as you can see it's doing this thing and we need to tell the wave texture to use a particular coordinate so we're going to use an separate xyz all right plug that there and we are going to be using the x coordinate so once it does that you can see now it aligns to our uh, text really nicely. And then you can play with the scale, things like that on how you want your uh, bands to look, something like that. And then what you can do if you want to color it is get a color ramp right here and plug that right here in the socket here and then uh, take the color you want. So I'm gonna go with a nice blue. And then on linear, go to B spline, B spline. And then if you bring over this black portion, it gives you this nice fade on the light trails. And then you can just bring up your strength uh, the way you want something like this looks really really clean really nice now we want to animate it so we're going to use another math node and that's just going to be the default add so m a t we need the math node right here keep it at add and then right here in the value that's how you animate that guy so we need to figure out where it loops all right so now we want to loop this animation now what i'm about to show you is a pretty unconventional way to figure out how to make this loop um, it's kind of weird, but it, it worked perfectly for me. So what I did was on one of the portions, so I'm gonna pick this guy right here. So I'm gonna go to zero. So I'm gonna pick this guy right here. I'm gonna put a piece of tape on my screen. You can look at the photo right now to see where that piece of tape is located and just sort of lightly put it on your screen. Again, very unconventional, but it's hard to eyeball to get this perfect. So it's a bit weird, but it works. So what you're gonna do is right click insert keyframe, go to the very end, and you're, you're going to want to hit the right arrow so you don't get a duplicate frame. And then what I do is I hold down shift and I slide this value until that, that solid point meets the edge of the tape. So it looks like my value needs to stop at 0 0.349 and you're gonna to wanna to play around with it. It's not gonna be absolutely perfect. Right click, insert keyframe, and I'm gonna remove that tape. And if you look, it is a nice seamless loop on your animation. Uh, don't hate on me too much for putting tape on my screen, but make sure the tape you use um, is, is 
like a painter's tape or something that doesn't leave residue on your screen. Or you could just use something else that doesn't, that you're not a little bit worried about. So now that we have our animation, let's go over and set up our compositing nodes to get this really cool look. So we're gonna be using this. I'm just gonna hit render here. And we have this. Let's head over to the compositing tab. We're gonna hit shift A and add a viewer node. Just like this, plug that there. Now we have the background. We're gonna add it a glare node. Plug that there. And then on streaks, bring it down to two streaks. And then we're gonna leave that. If you if it's too big for your screen, you go to the view and then hit fit. It's gonna fit to your screen. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add another glare node. So I'm gonna hit shift D, duplicate this, and we're gonna add simple star. And then bring your fade up and then bring your your mix down till it's not sort of screaming at you at those really pivotal points. And then what I like to do is bring the color module on the uh, on the streaks here to give it that little cool fade right there. And then what we, what we want to do for it to work when we hit render is hit the glare, the last node here, put it on the composite node. We'll go back to rendering and now it's there. So when we hit render again, it updates just like that when we go to animate. So that's your animation. What we All we need to do now is just go over here to set where we want to save it. So I'm gonna go ahead and just go to my desktop, save it there. I'm gonna go to PNG to FFmpeg video on encoding, change it to MP4, and then make sure it's at H264, and then go to perceptually lossless and render, render animation. So there you go, you made a really cool looping text animation. I hope you enjoyed it, hope you learned something.